Hi, this is Chris with Laughter on Water. And today we're looking at the registration process for the Magic Jack Plus 2014 for those who don't yet have a Magic Jack device. We'll look at both registration and activation. This flowchart shows our options along the way, of course discarding all the numerous upsell attempts during the new device registration. The arrows in red show the path we'll attempt to take in order to register the new device. The arrows in yellow show alternate choices depending on how you bought your Magic Jack Plus 2014. We'll cover registration for a device bought from a local retailer first, then cover what happens when you buy it directly from Magic Jack Online or use the 800 number. To finish up, we choose a number, activate the Magic Jack, and then make a test call. Your experience registering the Magic Jack as a first-time user may differ from what you see here, but it will be relatively close enough that you should get a sense of what to expect when you set up an account or log in with an account that you created when you bought your Magic Jack online. Next, let's take a look at what you will need. Here's the list. A Magic Jack Plus 2014, AC adapter, USB extension cord, a modern telephone, a good Ethernet cable. I suggest you don't use the Ethernet cable that came with the device. It gets stuck. It's very hard to remove this cable from any Ethernet socket, and you could damage a socket on your Magic Jack or your router next time you try to unplug it. Instead, buy a cheap Ethernet cable locally, online, or make your own. You may have an old one lying around from some other device you're not using. Any standard retail Ethernet cable is probably kinder on your hardware than the one that came with the Magic Jack. Now, let's get started. Plug the Magic Jack into a USB port on your computer. You should see an autoplay pop-up dialog box asking you to start your Magic Jack. It may look a little different on a Mac. Click Start Magic Jack. Some USB ports are unpowered, so if you don't see the autoplay dialog box come up, you may need to try a different USB port. It may take a minute. You should see the Lucky You update screen followed by trite sales phrases, then the Magic Jack dial pad. The whole left third of the dial pad is ordinarily devoted to upsell schemes most of the time, but at this point you should see a welcome screen. Click where it says Click Here. The registration box pops up, offering two ways to register. We can create a new account or register with the account we used when we bought the device direct from Magic Jack. We'll start with the first method, creating a new account. I'll follow up shortly by showing how to register with your existing login credentials. To create a new account, start by typing in your first and last name along with a valid email address. You'll need that address later to activate the account. Click Submit. Enter your physical address on the next screen. The phone number is optional. Click Next. At this point, it's a good time to show the second method of logging in. Instead of creating an account, we'll use an existing account. Then we can continue the registration processes both methods have in common. This time, instead of creating a new account, click the login link. Use the same email address and password that you used when you bought the Magic Jack. If you don't know your password, you can get it online by using the Remind Me link. Then, click Login. Now that we've finished the second account login method, we can continue with the processes both login methods have in common. Enter a name for your Magic Jack Plus 2014. Make it useful. For instance, if it's a second home line, call it Home 2. Click Submit. You'll be presented with the Terms of Service contract. While most people don't want to read the small print, I suggest it's a good idea to read closely what you're agreeing to. Once you have, check I have read and agree to this Terms of Service. Click Next. By default, the checkbox at the bottom of the next screen is checked. Leave it checked. Select the option I do not want a vanity or Canadian number, etc. Using the pull-down menus in box 1 on the next screen, select your preferred state, area code, and exchange. Once you've selected your preferred exchange, box 2 will appear with an option for a $3 per year upsell. Select the gray button that says, no thanks, I want the last four digits assigned automatically. You may want replacement insurance, I didn't. Select the checkbox next to, no, I do not want $1 Magic Jack insurance. Select no for the five-year platinum preferred plan. Select No for the one additional free year with additional device $30 per year contract. Select No for yet another upsell for $50 gift Magic Jacks. Select No for the International Prepaid Minutes upsell. 
you will probably be asked to enable auto renew in order to receive the lifetime warranty it costs nothing extra to do this and you can always disable auto renew online later click thank you enable auto renew and my lifetime warranty it's time to activate your magic jack plus 2014 in your mailbox find the email with the subject magic jack account activation information copy your activation code from the email and paste it into the activation code field Click Activate. If you don't already have an account password, you'll be asked to create one now. Write it down and don't forget it. This is your account password for your new phone system. Click Submit. This is the last activation screen where you'll see your number and a congratulations on activation completed. Click the green button to use your Magic Jack Plus 2014 directly from the router. This screen and the Magic Jack dial pad will both automatically disappear. Disconnect your device from the USB port on your computer and connect it directly to the router, AC adapter, and phone connector. You should now be able to make and receive calls on your new Magic Jack device. Thank you for calling the Embassy Cinema. Press 1 for Showtime information. For Friday and Saturday's showtimes, press 1. For Sunday, Thursday. That's it for registration for new users of the Magic Jack Plus 2014. Check out my websites in the show notes and please subscribe. Don't miss my previous videos on ordering Magic Jack Plus 2014, the unboxing, and an audio comparison with Magic Jack Plus 2012. Stay tuned for my next video on indicator lights, electrical info, and phone standards compliance with the Magic Jack Plus 2014. This is Chris with Laughter on Water. Thanks for watching.